Mikey and Juliana were a happy couple. They loved and trusted one another. However, their relationship wasn't as great as it appeared. Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm good. How are good. you? Good. I think I left something in the car. Okay. okay. All right. Don't take too long. Don't miss me too much, baby. I won't. Mikey calls the police after finding Juliana's dead body. Officer Nate responds to the call. Sir, you're the one who dialed 911. I know, 911! There was a dead person right there, and she was my girlfriend, and she died! Okay, do you know, did you see anyone suspicious in the area? No, she just died! She just died, so you just found her dead? Yes! Okay, we'll have to get, like, uh, like, there seems to be, like, a lot of evidence around here. We'll get a team in here immediately, all right? Okay. Okay. Do not okay. Make sure, like, we'll, all right, we'll get deputies over there to get tape around the area, right? Okay. All right. When I first uh, arrived on the scene of the crime, uh, I just saw that the body had just a whole bunch of blood around it. There was, like, blood on the walls, like, on, like, some trees surrounding the area. It was ridiculous. Ridiculous amount of blood. Um... Uh, upon further inspection of the body, uh, we I found uh, like a lot of stab wounds, and like it was definitely done by a blade. I knew that, but like I couldn't find a knife like anywhere like around the scene. So later on, I had a team uh, look for the knife. Um, like uh, I made sure to be very careful not to contaminate any potential evidence, which was a good thing later on because we found that there was uh, some foot impressions around the body. Forensic analyst Lieutenant Bach shows up at the scene to retrieve samples of blood found near the victim for analysis. This is done by swabbing the blood with the Q-tip and putting it in a proper container. Lieutenant Bach then proceeds to take pictures of the evidence with the ruler to use as a reference for size. Make note that he takes the photograph before he even touches the evidence. He also takes the photograph at multiple angles in order to get a full perspective of the evidence before it is disturbed from the scene. He then discovers the knife in which he removes while wearing the gloves so as not to contaminate any DNA evidence that is on the handle. Officer Nate goes to Mikey who is now a suspect in the investigation and explains to him that in order to be removed as a suspect they needed a DNA sample and his shoe due to the shoe impression found at the scene of the crime. Upon receiving Mikey's consent, Officer Nate lifts his print using tape and gracefully takes one of his shoes. Officer Nate then goes to Lieutenant Bach who explains that the blood found near the body was that of the victims. He also explains that the blood on the blade of the knife was also that of the victims and that the DNA on the knife's handle matched that of Mikey's. He also said that the foot impression found at the scene of the crime matched the sole of Mikey's shoe, which placed him at the scene of the crime. This is more than enough evidence to arrest Mikey for first-degree murder. Now there will be a warrant out for his arrest. Based on the wounds and on the way the blood spattered, we figured there was a weapon, and the blood spatter helped verify this because of the way it landed and due to that we were able to narrow our search to a weapon and we did indeed find the knife which we believe was the murder weapon. The footprint was the biggest piece of evidence with the exception of the knife. It placed the Mikey right at the scene. We matched it perfectly to his shoe print which we obtained from his shoe earlier thanks to Officer Nate and once we matched them we realized he was at the scene and when we matched his DNA to that kind of we knew he was the murderer. The knife was clearly the murder weapon. The victim's blood was all over the, the blade and it matched perfectly with the blood spatter on the wall. The handle had a chunk load of evidence with a lot of DNA on it with fingerprints and we were able to match that to Mikey's, which he gave us, which puts him not only at the scene, it puts the murder weapon in his hand, and we believe because of that, he's the murderer. 
Now with the warrant for his arrest, Officer Nate and Lieutenant Bach move in to apprehend Mikey. The two biggest pieces of evidence in this case was, were by far the knife and the shoe print. Um, we were able to get DNA off the handle of the knife and we were able to pair it up with the sample collected from Mikey and we put the two and two together and figured out that he was a murderer. Um, the shoe print that we got from him uh, matched the shoe impression at the scene of the crime and that really sealed the deal. Uh, using those pieces of evidence we had like enough uh, evidence to have a warrant out for his arrest. This is how forensic analysts believe the murder played out. So I killed her. I killed her. She died. It was good times. But uh, you know, we were together seven years. Nothing big. I mean, we were very, very happy. Very, very happy! But you know, then some Asian kid came along yellowing it up. You know, and then she cheated on me. Very racist, I know. Um, so, then, then, then she died. No, I killed her. Eh, three years after that. So she died. Yes, she died. Because I stabbed her, as you can see. Um, I'm in jail because I stabbed her. Not only is she my girlfriend, but I stabbed her. So, um, yeah, well, practically I went through her phone one day because she went to go take a pee behind a tree. And no, that wasn't supposed to rhyme, but it just happened to rhyme. So, I looked through her phone and I found very explicit content things like giraffes, but... Then I found she was cheating on me because there were text messages going through back and forth that were very explicit. So, what I did was I talked to her about it. I said, hey, uh, what are these text messages? Oh, nothing! They're, the text messages are nothing! Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. Um, so what are these text messages? Aw, oh, they're nothing! But then again, she sounded like a goblin. Um, and then I went to go hang out with this Austin person because, you know, keep your friends close, but you keep your enemies closer. So I decided to take Austin, make him my best friend. So we took a walk around the corners of my house because, you know, that's what people do. They like to take walks around the corners of people's houses. And we ended up in my backyard where it was nice, cold, yeah, very, very nice. So we sat, had a nice talk, stood, actually, it was raining, but then again, it's nice, so whatever, I mean, rain's rain. So we talked, had a nice conversation, actually, it was about why she cheated on me, and then, you know, kind of did some really, really nice things to her. I, I hit her around a couple of times. I'm pretty sure I uh, pushed her to the floor, <clears throat> then I took out some, like, knife thing and I stabbed her with it. But I mean, that's all the joys of killing people, is just stabbing them over and over and over. And, I mean, first, first I got her legs, and then she fell to the floor, and then I stabbed her in the chest, and then she just started bleeding a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I think she died in the process. No, but she did. She died. <laughs> A very, very painful death. <laughs> <laughs> so like I was actually there I saw everything I even recorded it uh, I figured out everything like an hour before the police actually figured it out I even told them but they were like no that, that's not real that never happened so I was like there talking to them looking at them like and they just left to do their own thing to do exactly what I did and spend thousands of money trying to figure out what was, what's so funny? <laughs> oh, oh, that rhymed. <laughs> okay, get late. Why are you still recording? What gives?
There ain't leaves, there are used balloons. <laughs> okay, there's no sound for this part, so I'm going to be the narrator for this episode. Okay, so we have Nate and Mikey having a nice cup of tea uh, over Mikey being a suspect. So Nate just happens to have some tape in his pocket. Hmm, yes, yeah, quite inconspicuous. And uh, I'm going to need a fingerprint. Hmm, thank you very much. I'll be taking that. Put it back in pocket. And now I'm going to need a shoe because I like shoes and I collect them. So, okay. Oh, <laughs>